look what I finally got my hands on. So today I'm going to be working my way through this Dobby Harry Potter crochet kit. So crochet hooks at the ready and let's get going. Now it's testament to how much I actually love you guys that I keep continuing to do these because if you've watched any of my other Harry Potter reviews you know I hate them and you know that they're written really really badly. So I'm about to open the box and we'll see what's inside but just before I begin um, one of the main comments that I get criticising is that I go really fast during these um, tutorials so I just wanted to make you aware that if you click the settings button on this video you can actually reduce the speed so you can go down to 0.75 I'm from Liverpool in England and we tend to talk fast but also these tutorials take me hours to film so um, try and forgive me if I go a little bit faster than you're used to but make sure that you reduce the speed of the video to cater along with your needs so inside the kit we get the yarn that we'll need so there's four balls of yarn we get an aluminum crochet hook which is to be fair it's better than the plastic crochet hooks so that's great but I will be using my own personal crochet hook for this tutorial we get a metal embroidery needle a bag of polyfill stuffing and obviously the instructions so this is a three out of three star skill level so this is known to be advanced um, so let's have a look inside this little book here are the instructions and as I said I've already done two or three of the Wizarding World Harry Potter tutorials and I've still got two left to do but they are written so poorly from experience that I don't hold much hope for this. So the first thing I'm going to note is that these instructions are written using uh, UK terminology. So if you don't know the UK and the USA have different terms for the same stitches in crochet so what the USA call a single crochet is a double crochet in the UK standards so that might seem a bit confusing at the moment but what I'm going to do is as I go through the instructions I'll convert this UK pattern into US instructions so I know that was a mouthful and hopefully it'll make sense as you continue um, but I will be doing it in both American and USA sorry UK and USA so we get a stitch guide and we get the contents of what's inside the box so let's turn it over and it goes straight into the pattern and we're going to go and begin with the head I don't think I said earlier but I am going to put a conversion chart somewhere around here so that it will convert from the UK instructions to the USA instructions just in case you get lost along the way. So for the head it says use white yarn round one six double crochet into a magic ring. So this is UK six double crochet into a magic ring for USA it is six single crochets into a magic ring. So it does tell us to use white but it doesn't actually give us a white it gives us this cream grey colour but it's the lightest out of the four yarns that we've got so I'm going to assume this is the colour it means. So the first instruction is six single crochets into a magic ring. Now I'm going to show you my version of a magic ring and if you have your own preference go ahead and do your own magic ring but I'm going to show you the way I do it. So I'm going to slip knot onto hook and I'm going to chain two. One and two. Now into the second chain from hook I'm going to do six single crochets. So I'm going to insert my hook into that second chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two for my first single crochet and now I'm going to do another five all into this same chain. Two three, four, five and six. So round two says increase times six for a total of 12 stitches. If you're new to pattern reading any times you see a 
an instruction and then it has a times whatever number afterwards you're going to repeat that instruction the amount of time stated so in this instance it wants us to increase six times so we're going to increase into every stitch we've just made at the end of a line of instruction when you see a number in brackets that is the amount of stitches you should have at the end of that row or round so for this round increase six times for a total of 12 stitches so I am going to do two single crochets into every stitch around and at the end of this round I will have 12 stitches so I'm going to loosen the first stitch and I'm going to do two single crochets into that first stitch and that will be an increase so two single crochets into the first stitch one and two and then two single crochets into the second stitch three and four then two single crochets into the third stitch five and six two single crochets into the fourth stitch seven and eight two single crochets into the fifth stitch nine and ten and then two single crochets into the last stitch of this round for eleven and twelve so we have twelve stitches and we're working in the round so round three tells us double crochet one and then increase and that is in square brackets and then it tells us to do this six times so we are going to double crochet one increase six times for a total of 18 stitches but what I'm going to do is I'm going to single crochet one stitch then I'm going to do two single crochets into the following stitch and I'm going to repeat that six times and then we will have a total of 18 stitches so in this instance everything inside the square brackets is going to be repeated the amount of time stated afterwards so single crochet one two single crochets into the next stitch six times for 18 stitches so single crochet for one increase in the next stitch for two and three single crochet four increase in the next stitch for five and six single crochet seven increase in the next stitch for eight and nine single crochet 10 increase in the next stitch for 11 and 12 single crochet 13 increase in the next stitch for 14 and 15 single crochet 16 and increase in the last stitch of this round for 17 and 18 so as I say if I'm going too fast don't forget to pause or alternatively slow the speed of the video down round four double crochet two increase times six for a total of 24 stitches so I'm going to double cro uh, single crochet two then I'm going to do two single crochets into the following stitch and I'm going to repeat everything inside them brackets six times for a total of 24 stitches at the end of the round so we're going to single crochet one and two two single crochets into the next stitch for three and four single crochet five and six increase in the next stitch for seven and eight single crochet nine and ten increase in the next stitch for eleven and twelve single crochet thirteen and fourteen increase in the next stitch for fifteen and sixteen single crochet 17 and 18 increase in the next stitch for 19 and 20 single crochet 21 22 and increase in the next stitch for 23 and 24 for those of you who enjoy doing these crochet kits if you take a look at my website or my Etsy store which will be linked down below I do actually sell my own crochet kits and my own crochet patterns on my website specifically there's also a page with tons and tons of free crochet patterns so if you get a spare minute why don't you head over and have a little look so round five 
goes a bit weird. And I don't understand why they do this, but we'll follow the instructions. So the instruction says double crochet one plus in brackets increase double crochet three five times plus increase plus double crochet two for a total of 30 stitches. Now for people who are familiar with patterns, when you separate instructions, you normally use commas like they have here in, in round four. But in these patterns, sometimes they like to use addition signs. So what I am going to do for round five is single crochet one. Then I'm going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. Then I'm going to single crochet three and I'm going to do everything inside them square brackets five times then I'm going to do two single crochets into the following stitch then I'm going to single crochet two and I will have a total of 30 stitches at the end of this round so to begin round five single crochet one and now our pattern repeat two single crochets into the following stitch followed by three single crochets five times so two single crochets into the next stitch for one and two followed by three single crochets one two and three do that again four more times increase in the next stitch one and two followed by three single crochets one two and three repeat that three more times increase in the next stitch one and two followed by three single crochets one two and three repeat that twice more increase in the next stitch one and two single crochet three one two and three repeat that one more time increase in the next stitch one and two followed by three single crochet one two and three then to end this round we're going to increase in the next stitch one and two and then we're going to finish by single crochet in two one and two so round six says double crochet four increase six times for a total of 36 stitches so I'm going to single crochet four and then I'm going to do two single crochets into the following stitch six times for a total of 36 stitches. So I'm going to single crochet one, two, three and four, increase in the next stitch for five and six, single crochet seven, eight, nine and 10 increase in the next stitch for 11 and 12 single crochet 13 14 15 and 16 increase in the next stitch for 17 and 18 single crochet 19 20 21 22 increase in the next stitch for 23 and 24 then single crochet 25, 26, 27, 28, increase in the next stitch for 29 and 30, single crochet 31, 32, 33, 34 and into the last stitch of this round increase for 35 and 36. So round 7 asks us to double crochet 2 plus increase double crochet five five times plus increase plus double crochet three for a total of 42 stitches so for round seven i am going to single crochet two stitches then i'm going to do two single crochets into the following stitch followed by five single crochets and i'm going to do everything in them brackets five times then i'm going to do two single crochets into the following stitch and then I'm going to finish the round with three single crochets for 42 stitches. So I'm going to begin round seven with two single crochets, one and two. And now I'm going to 
do two single crochets into the next stitch one and two and now I'm going to single crochet five one two three four and five so I'm going to do that four more times two single crochets into the next stitch one and two single crochet five one two three four and five two single crochets into the next stitch one and two single crochet five one two three four and five only two more times left increase in the next stitch one and two single crochet five one two three four and five we're going to do that one more time increase in the next stitch one and two single crochet five one two three four and five and then finish this round with two single crochets in the next stitch one and two and then single crochet three one two and three so for round eight it tells us to double crochet six increase six times for a total of 48 stitches so i am going to single crochet six then two single crochets in the following stitch and I'm going to repeat that six times for a total of 48 stitches. So let's single crochet for one, two, three, four, five and six. Increase in the next stitch for seven and eight. Single crochet nine, ten, 11, 12, 13 and 14, increase in the next stitch for 15 and 16, single crochet, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, increase in the next stitch for 23 and 24, then we're going to single crochet, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30, then increase in the next stitch for 31 and 32, single crochet, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, increase in the next stitch for 39 and 40, then single crochet, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46 and increase in the last stitch for 47 and 48. So we have 48 stitches and rounds 9 to 13, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So for five rounds, it wants us to double crochet in each double crochet around. So we're going to single crochet into every stitch around for five rounds. So five rounds of single crochet and I'll meet you back here when I'm done. I've just completed my five rounds and now I'm up to round 14. So it asks us to double crochet six, decrease six times for a total of 42 stitches. So I'm going to single crochet six and then I'm going to single crochet two stitches together six times for a total of 42. So I'm going to single crochet for one, two, three, four, five and six and now decrease for number seven. So I'm going to insert my hook into stitch one, yarn over, pull through, insert my hook into the second stitch, yarn over and pull through. So there are three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that's how I'm going to do my decreases. So I've just decreased for stitch number seven, single crochet eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 and 13, then decrease for stitch 14. 
single crochet 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 20 again 19 and 20 decrease for 21 single crochet 22 23 24 25 26 27 and decrease for stitch number 28 do that again 28 single crochet 29 and 30 31 32 33 34 decrease for 35 single crochet 36 37 38 39 and 40 41 and decrease for number 42 so for the next round round 15 says double crochet 5 decrease 6 times for 36 stitches so I'm going to single crochet 5 then I'm going to single crochet 2 stitches together 6 times for a total of 36 so I'm going to single crochet for 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 now decrease for stitch number, th number 6 single crochet 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 decrease for 12 single crochet 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 decrease for 18 single crochet 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23 decrease for 24 single crochet 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and decrease for 30 then single crochet 31, 32, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 and decrease for 36 now for round 16 it asks us to double crochet 4 decrease 6 times for 30 stitches so I'm going to single crochet 4 single crochet 2 stitches together 6 times for 30 stitches so I'm going to single crochet 1, 2, 3 and 4 decrease for 5 single crochet 6, 7, 8, 9, decrease for 10 single crochet 11, 12, 13, 14, decrease for 15 single crochet 16, 17, 18, 19, decrease for 20 single crochet 21, 22, 23, 24, decrease for 25 single crochet 26, 27, 28, 29 and decrease for 30 this head's not going to be very big if you look at the side that doesn't look like the picture at the minute anyway round 17 it tells us to double crochet 3 decrease 6 times for 24 stitches so I am going to single crochet 3 single crochet 2 stitches together 6 times for 24 stitches so single crochet 1 2 and 3 and then single crochet 2 stitches together for 4 single crochet 5 6 and 7 decrease for 8 
single crochet 9, 10 and 11, decrease for 12, single crochet 13, 14, 15, decrease for 16, single crochet 17, 18 and 19, decrease for 20, single crochet 21, 22, 23 and decrease for 24. And now this makes no sense why it looks like this. And now for the last round, round 18, double crochet 2, decrease 6 times for 18 stitches. So I am going to single crochet 2, single crochet 2 stitches together 6 times for 18 stitches. So single crochet 1 and 2, decrease for 3, single crochet 4 and 5, decrease for 6, single crochet 7 and 8, decrease for 9, single crochet 10 and 11, decrease for 12, single crochet 13 and 14, decrease for 15, single crochet 17, 15, 16 and 17 and decrease for 18. So now it tells us to finish off and stuff. So to finish off I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch to join, chain one and then cut this yarn. And it's a very weird shape, it's not like, let me bring the box in. Can you see how oblong, how, this is like very like UFO-y. I'll stuff it and then I'm going to count the rounds to make sure I haven't missed out a round because I feel like this should be longer. Anyway, let's have a look. So let's put some stuffing in. The stuffing is very soft actually. He's got a very fat head. Okay, I'm going to count the rounds. So there are 18 rounds to the head. I'm going to count that I've got 18 rounds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There's 18 there. I don't know. I feel like should rounds 9 to 13 should have been more oh well we'll we'll work with what we have if i overstuff it it's going to make it look more like the shape but it's overstuffing isn't something that i like to do because it exposes it stretches the stitches and shows the stuffing inside but if it's going to give me a better shape for the head that's what i might do okay well let's continue so next I'm going to jump straight to the body. So using the white yarn, which I think we have now agreed is not white, it's a cream grey colour. It says round one, six double crochet in a magic ring. So just like the head, I'm going to do six single crochets into a magic ring, but I'm going to do a magic ring of my version. So slip knot onto hook and we're going to chain two one and two and into the second chain from hook I'm going to do six single crochets just like with the head so six single crochets one two three four five and six now a tip for working with this yarn because the yarn it's not good yarn but I wouldn't have expected it to have been high quality because the kit was only £3.99 which is buttons it's really really cheap so because the yarn is so fluffy it's very easy to split it and get your hook caught in it so just make sure you're crocheting looser than you normally would because I tend to have a very tight tension but I am making the conscious effort of holding it a bit looser so I am reholding the yarn more than I normally would because I need to keep loosening my grip <laughs> so work looser than you normally would 
So round two, increase six times. So we're going to do two single crochets into every stitch for a total of 12 stitches. So two single crochets into every stitch. One and two into the first. Three and four into the second. Five and six into the third. Seven and eight into the fourth. Nine and ten into the fifth. Eleven and twelve into the sixth. Round three says double crochet one, increase six times for 18 stitches. So I'm going to single crochet one, then do two single crochets in the following stitch, six times for 18 stitches. So we're going to single crochet one, and then increase in the next stitch for two and three. Single crochet four, increase in the next stitch for five and six. Single crochet seven, Increase in the next stitch for 8 and 9. Single crochet 10. Increase in the next stitch for 11 and 12. Single crochet 13. Increase in the next stitch for 14 and 15. Single crochet 16. And increase in the next stitch for 17 and 18. Round 4 states, double crochet 2. Increase 6 times for 24 stitches. So I'm going to single crochet two and then do two single crochets into the following stitch six times for 24 stitches. So single crochet for one and two, increase in the next stitch for three. That was an example of a stitch splitting. See, I don't know whether you can see, but can you, all the yarn fibers have come undone. So I split the stitch with my hook. So increase again for three and four, three and four, single crochet five and six, increase in the next stitch for seven and eight, single crochet nine and ten, increase in the next stitch for eleven and twelve, single crochet thirteen and fourteen, increase in the next stitch for fifteen and sixteen, Single crochet 17 and 18, increase in the next stitch for 19 and 20, then single crochet 21, 22, and increase in the last stitch for 23 and 24. So round five says double crochet in every double crochet around. So we're going to single crochet into every stitch around for one round. So we're going to single crochet 24 stitches. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23 and 24. So round six says double crochet one plus increase double crochet three five times plus increase plus double crochet two for a total of 30 stitches. I just hate the way they increase from 24 to 30 like this. They did it on the head and they're doing it now and it makes no sense to me. But I'll follow the instructions. So we're going to single crochet one, then we're going to do two single crochets into the following stitch, followed by three single crochets and we're going to do that five times, then we're going to do two single crochets into the next stitch and we're going to finish with two single crochets. So single crochet one and now we're going to increase so two single crochets into the next stitch one and two followed by three single crochets one two and three we're going to do that four more times increase in the next stitch one and two 
followed by three single crochets one two and three let's do that three more times increase in the next stitch one and two followed by three single crochets one two and three do it twice more increase in the next stitch one and two followed by three single crochets one two and three once more increase in the next stitch one and two followed by three single crochets one two and three then it asks us to do two single crochets into the next stitch one and two and finish with two single crochets one and two so round seven to ten so that's seven eight nine ten so now we have four rounds of double crochet into each stitch around which means we're going to single crochet into every stitch around for four rounds so four rounds of single crochet so I have finished my four rounds and I'm up to round 11 and it says double crochet three decrease six times for a total of 24 stitches so I'm going to single crochet three then single crochet two stitches together six times for a total of 24 so I'm going to single crochet one two and three and then decrease for four single crochet five six and seven decrease for eight single crochet nine ten eleven decrease for 12 single crochet 13 14 and 15 decrease for 16 single crochet 17 18 and 19 decrease for 20 single crochet 21 22 23 and decrease for 24 so now for rounds 12 to 14 so 12 13 14 so for three rounds it says double crochet in each double crochet around so we're going to single crochet into every stitch around for three rounds so three rounds of single crochet so round 15 says double crochet two decrease six times for 18 stitches so I'm going to single crochet two and then single crochet two stitches together six times for 18 stitches so single crochet one and two decrease for three single crochet four and five decrease for six single crochet seven and eight decrease for nine single crochet ten and eleven decrease for twelve single crochet 13 and 14 decrease for 15 then single crochet 16 and 17 and decrease for 18 so we have 18 stitches and rounds 16 to 20 so 16 17 18 19 20 so for five rounds double crochet into each double crochet around so we're going to single crochet into every stitch around for five rounds then we're going to join and fasten off and stuff it. we're going to stuff it and then sew the head onto the body <laughs> so let's see how that goes so to begin with five rounds of single crochet so I finish my rounds finish off stuff and join to head so I am going to slip stitch in the next chain or the next stitch to join chain one and I'm going to leave a long yarn tail because I'll use that to sew this piece to the head and the next thing we're going to do is stuff this body so that's the body stuffed and then I'm going to bring in the head and my embroidery needle and we need to attach them like this and it looks like we're making a mushroom at the minute <laughs> but I'm going to continue with the pattern so with the yarn tail from the body I'm going to prop the tail onto my needle 
and there are 18 stitches there are 18 stitches at the bottom of both of these so ideally we're just going, we're going to be able to go through one stitch on the body and then pick up let's see one stitch on the head and I'm going to do that all the way around and I'm going to leave a little gap because I'm going to add more stuff in at the end to the head to try and get it to look like the shape on the box so I'm picking up a stitch from the body and a stitch from the head something's definitely gone wrong with the head pattern they haven't they've missed something or they haven't typed something up or I don't know So the yarn tail from the head, I'm going to wind that up and pop that inside as well because I may as well use that as some stuffing and then I'm going to, whilst the hole is small, well it's joined most of the way and I only need a couple more stitches to completely shut it but I just wanted to make sure I was happy with all the stuffing in there and now I can close up the head and the body. And after the last stitch, you're going to weave in the yarn tail and then you can cut it off. There we go. And then trim. So we have the body and the head done.